Hello pilots, it's Grax here and in this video I will show you the latest and greatest 1S LiPo charger and discharger for our tiny whoops, which is brand new VFly Whoop Store 3, so stay tuned. So this is fresh box straight from the seller, I was not opening it earlier, so now we can perform a little unboxing. And right down on the top we have the sticker so we can cut it and now we can see what we have here so we have nice foamy protection cover our whoop store 3 also in this white nice bag plus we have some kind of usb wire right here So this is USB-A to USB-C wire and also we receive small information from VFly, the specs and also the LCD layout, how to use the all functions of the charger. So we have dimensions, input connectors, we can finally connect 6S LiPos. Of course if you do racing, if you do freestyle, in these times you have a lot of 6S packs and now you can use them with this fresh VFly charger because in version 2 it was 5S Max and I think 5S was not pretty as popular as 6S so now the VFly solved that problem really well so thanks to you VFly that, that you just listening to customers also support power delivery 3.0 so that's pretty nice we can use it excellent with the USB-C laptop charger adapter for example so it will work really nice we have 40 watts of charging power so this is uh, also a lot more than in version 2 because in version 2 0.9 amp was max I remember so charging bigger one specs would be a lot faster and also we have that that nice improved discharging with the with the fan right here I can drop it on the scale quickly if you want by the way this 142.2 grams we received the the card about the specs also we have a nice sticker on the button about the specs the nice rubber feet all around here and also of course this case is on literally another level than version 2 version 2 was just the normal pcbs stacked on each other with the standoffs now we have really professional looking product and you know what this nice slick design is pretty similar for ISDT products so for example this Q8 charger is also pretty nice nicely enclosed like now like this VFly Whoop Store <coughs> so I love this because you have all the electronics a lot better protected so if you have some screws lying around anything will not get inside of the electronics of course we have small fins but it's generally this case is a lot better than just bare PCBs so we have three main power connectors XT60 DC power plug and also USB-C because this charger is pretty powerful you cannot power it from normal 5 volt USB-C you need to have a charger with some kind of quick charge protocol on the flip side we have nice fan because for example this TBS charger I bought it from another pilot and he needed to 3D print the adapter with the fan because it possibly could overheat and with this VFly you have everything just packed inside in a nice small rounded box so now we can power it and I can power it both ways so maybe first we try with just the normal barrel 12 volts And it works, we have nice colorful screen, also it's a lot better than on version 2. And right here we have all the layout, like the voltage, so I was right, we have 12 voltage DC power. And I see that we can, we have charging set to HV lipos and charging current 0.3 amps. 
So of course we have both BT 2.0 and PH 2.0. So these connectors are, are mostly commonly used now in tiny whoops. So now maybe I switch the power source for the XT60 because I have a lot more watts because this is DC power was just for my LED lights so it's not really powerful. Maybe we can try another power source that would, would be not possible on version 2 because in this XT60 I have 6 source voltage. So we check if this will work on version 3. And excellent, the charger is working fine. We have full 24 volt out of my big DC power supply. So of course I have BT 2.0 LiPo and also PH 2.0. So I have two different types and we check how it works. So first I just plug the BT 2.0 right here. And when I plug the LiPo of course nothing is starting because we have these buttons. So with this button we can set the voltage to storage, high volt storage normal charge and HV charge and by short pressing this button we can change the current up to 1.3 amps so this is really a lot for this small 300 milliamp tattoo battery so maybe I choose 0.5 amps and when I hold this button it should start and it starts and now we can see that the red dot is blinking so this port is charging so when we plug another lipo it also charges automatically so this screen is really amazing we have literally everything that we want on the screen the input voltage current that we're charging and every lipo is just in one screen so this is really huge improvement from this only one LCD screen so this screen is just cycling through the lipos and you just need to wait for the one that you want to check okay so if you want to stop we can we can just do the same procedure as starting the charging so we just long press and it stopped now maybe we can change settings and we try the discharging function so we change the voltage to 3.85 so this is hv storage and i'm really curious what max current we can choose because on the specification card it have 1.1 watts of discharging power so unfortunately even when we have such a big radiator with the fan we cannot use like all 1.3 amps to discharge these packs maybe in version 4 they will improve it so i picked 0.5 amps to discharge now we can start but it's drawing already maximum cap capable current which is point minus 0 0.3 amps so maybe they will improve this charging so in version 3 charging power is improved and maybe in version 4 they will improve also this charging because they have such a big fan with the radiator so why not we, we have a lot of space just to dissipate this heat also right here I have this powerful DC quick charge brick adapter which is capable of delivering 100 watts so in theory we should connect even two VFly Whoop Store trees for that thing via the USB-C ports so I can also leave a link for this nice Bessels quick charge adapter because this thing is really powerful I can charge my netbook via USB-C and also my phone which these all two devices are on quick charge state mode so this is really powerful i will connect to the main usb-c port which have power delivery and it works i'm really curious what voltage we will get wow so we have full power delivery out of this thing so we have 19.8 volts so in theory, we could connect even two VFly Whoop Store trees with the full power on this brick wall adapter. So this is really nice, powerful and compact all in one because you don't even need to bring your huge AC to DC power supply like you are just using with charging normal 6 aspects. 
So this charger have a lot of pros which is beautiful colorful screen you have literally all information that you want on it both BT 2.0 and PH 2.0 connectors amazing really nice and stiff case because this charger is not really super light so the build quality is excellent this plastic is really thick so it's really hard to break also you have these nice four rubber feet so it stays in place really nice you can see my whole pad is moving but the charging is holding so it's really nice and solid design but i have two cons so i would love to see on Wookstore 4 or maybe firmware update on Wookstore 3 because i received information that you can even flash firmware on this thing and update it so it's also really future proof maybe later they will improve the function because this is still pretty fresh product i would really love to see more discharging current and secondly internal resistance test so you can check the condition of your lipos like on my oneus charging board that it behaves just like a normal lipo which we can charge and check this internal resistance so you have numbers numbers represents each cell each cell is just marked right here so in that way we can check if our one aspects are in good condition or in bad condition so in conclusion i'm 100 percent sure that this whoop store tree is now the king of tiny whoop one lipo chargers but also have some room for improvement like internal resistant test and maybe higher discharge current but beside that this is really amazing charging and now i will be using this charging non-stop for my tiny whoops now it's just number one for me so that's everything for this video i hope that this small review and unboxing helped you just to know more about this charger and also what we can improve in the future but for now bye bye and stay creative